Ethan, Oliver, Ralph. It's been a while. Um, there are a couple things that have happened with uh, Senor, Senor Ralph. Uh, he went to go see Zanda. Zanda. He gets two hours with Zanda a day. And he's thinking of even moving up to Tijuana from the Yucatan Peninsula, moving from the far southeastern side of the country to the far northwestern, right next to Los Angeles, so that he can be closer to Xander and so that his trips to the United States will be less time-intensive and less expensive because he's low in money. Uh, now, I should mention that he has made routine monthly visits. To his credit, he is keeping up with the monthly visits to see Zanda. Since they left, Ethan Ralph has made Cerro. Is that the word in, in Spanish? Cerro Eformente to visit Rosie. He named this daughter after his own mother. The person that he says is the only woman who has ever truly loved him. So a name that he bestowed upon his daughter as a sign of utter respect and admiration for the woman that gave him life. And since they have left, he has seen her several times. Really makes you think, huh, chat? Rosie who? <laughs> Um, so he, he posted this, I'll play this because why not. I think this is a DSP's reaction to, uh, him saying that he's going to go see Zanda. This guy has no idea what he's talking about at all. He's slurring his words. He's obviously drunk higher bull. He's a fucking human embarrassment who is a grown adult and he's talking about cutting. Oh, this is a idea. Ralph cut that promo and then DSP responded to it. And his takedown is actually pretty funny. It's like every, it, Ralph is so obvious that even DSP can get like a surface level read on him and be like, wow, what a fucking embarrassment. He's a promo, but he's not a pro wrestler, right? He's saying Mark all the time. This, he's just like the most embarrassing version of man, honestly. Like he's not even his own self. He thinks in his mind he's a wrestler cutting promos. Dude, you're a guy in sunglasses with a Tijuana Republic hat, a Los Angeles Killstream hoodie, sitting in a knockoff gamer chair that probably is worth about 20 bucks with the black and white filter on for some godforsaken reason and a low quality video, right? You're making a six minute promo that literally has no fucking point. You're talking to your better. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're talking to your better. Ouch. I like how he brings up that it's in black and white. If you don't know, Ralph uh, puts all his videos in black and white now because he looks so... I think he's, like, dying of liver failure or something. His skin looks fucked. He looks genuinely like he's about to die. It's like he has rosacea or something. His skin is so splotchy and gross. Like, it has to be, like, I don't know, his kidneys or livers or both are, are fucking failing. It's really nasty. Um, the other thing that Ralph has been up to is that, um, oh, fucking hookers is one. Um, actually, I think I'll save that to after the fucking hookers. Um, uh, CBDWB says, and this is a really funny post. He says, dude, I saw you going Ariba at Hong Kong last night. Tried to say what's up, but you were on a mission. Isn't that a great place? Ralph says, no way you saw me, LOL. I stayed at the n that night at their hotel. It's really nice. No chicks, but I saw some in the club, of course. So he went to a strip club, and I guess he's too poor to even buy it, but it's actually a, a brothel. It's like a proper brothel. So he's saying he, he, dude, he's saying that he rented a hotel room at a brothel? Can you imagine a more disgusting place to lay your head for a night? Like, you're sleeping on so much Mexican spunk in that fucking room, bro. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I don't know if they're, like, extra cheap, because it's like, you want to essay, you want to save mucho dinero, you can uh, sleep on the spunk bed, hey. <laughs> I give you a friend's discount, hey. <laughs> Just for you, gringo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's, it's it's nice and warm for you. <laughs> and I was like, oh boy, a friend's discount for me with my American dinero? 
don't mind if I do. And yes, I have seen that you kept the bed nice and warm for me. <laughs> so he went to a strip club, and I guess he threw so many ones that he ran out of cash for like a prostitute, and then he left. By the way, this is the really funny thing. Um, oh wait, let me make sure there's nothing that's it should not be on the screen when I scroll past this. It's one eighty at night and two thirty five at night on Friday and Saturday, so he can afford approximately one hundred and eighty dollars a night for a hotel room. That's a lot of money. One eighty a night? That's a lot. That's a lot for like a hotel. It's like a, I think it's like a hundred dollars a night for a hotel usually. If it's like a nice hotel, one eighty's a lot. Dude, can I show this? Yeah, there's no nudity. It's kind of a little bit gross, but because there's like art, I can't see anything. I'll risk it, whatever. It's for political commentary. So he's spending one eighty a night. Actually, how much did he? What time did he go? On Monday. Okay, so he did get the one eighty right, but then he gets this double king bed. That's what or a queen bed with a hot tub, and he spent one eighty night and then didn't have a prostitute over from the brothel. So it's like, why spend all that money to sleep in one of the two sides beds, and then not do anything? Someone um, was posting reviews, by the way. And let's say where are they? Oh, here's the reviews. Okay, great. Uh, Hotel Cascadas. Uh, Stay away from dangerous. They opened my hotel room at 4.30 a.m. while I was sleeping and demand I pay them $300. They wouldn't leave unless I gave them money. This place is not safe. Don't bother getting any rooms for the jacuzzi. Try two different wounds. It takes about an hour to fill and the water is warm at best. The water is also very dirty. It's grayish in color and when you drain it, there are black debris remaining. Decent rooms for the price... But very loud, being right above the club. Get a room about above the third floor. So that's that's Ralph living it up like a Kang in Tijuana. Um, what the fuck was the third thing I was going to show you? I had it, and then I decided to put it off, and then I lost it. That's how it goes. Oh, this. Okay, so... Like I mentioned, he's in Merida, which is in the Yucatan, and he's trying to move up to Tijuana so he can be closer to Xander, so he can see Xander every month, but never talk about Rosie ever again for as long as he lives. Um, he has decided that he wants to rent this place in particular that has a wonderful view of what I believe is the sun setting over the Pacific Ocean. A true Baja California uh, vantage of the beach right there. Um, Ralph says, who wants to live in Tijuana with this view every night on the beach? I could do it on my own, seven fifty a month, but it's more than my current rent, and I love Merida. So the rent for this shack in Baja, California, in Tijuana, on the beach, is seven fifty a month. And Ralph can't afford this. He'll never admit this, but he can't fucking afford seven fifty a month. And then he says, I'm dead serious, no joke, seven fifty I could pull I could pull by myself easily. Of course, I could afford seven fifty. I mean that's like poverty level rent in the United States, but you know, I, I, I could pull I pull that every night, matter of fact. I could afford that. Literally he says that he makes five hundred dollars a night and he is begging for a roommate to have in Mexico to afford seven fifty a month. Um I could pull by myself easy, but living alone in Tijuana? Why is living alone in Tijuana different than fucking Merida, bro? The chick the chick I made out with on the plane in August is moving down the block, so she's the one to, she's trying to get someone else. I never actually made out with a random on a plane. Highly recommend this guy 
has suffered like alcohol and induced brain trauma at this point. And now he just lives in like a teenage boy fantasy, pulling like 20 bucks a night for eight hours a stream. And he can't afford a fucking shack on the beach. What a, what a pitiful fucking existence, bro. Ralph's really circling. He's not going to be around. I have a feeling that he's not going to be around very long. Because he's, he's like, he's at, at the point where it's like, he's had a couple dead count, dead cat bounces, and they're not happening anymore. Like, he's too afraid to go out and do anything to get attention anymore. So he just hides in the avocado house in Mexico, and then occasionally, like, posts a tweet that's, like, funny enough to talk about. Shameful. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.